Hey guys, welcome back to Viewers Comments number six. Let's get right to it. You left out the part of throwing it in the garbage when you were done. LOL, just kidding. Go Steelers. You want me to throw out the Dallas logo coming from a Steelers fan? I have a question. Where did you find the blue Minwax? Special order? Because it's not a shelf product in Canada. Yes, actually, if you go to Home Depot or somewhere like that where they sell Minwax products, they should be able to mix up that color of stain for you. Fuck the Cowboys and fuck Trump. Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Wow, that is effective. The pocket screws are not a pretty sight. You're right, pocket screws are pretty unattractive. That's why in that build and any other build I like to do, I always hide the pocket screws in the back, underneath, inside of drawers, somewhere where you can't see them. I think vacuum cleaner needs air. It cannot work closed that way. You're right, if the unit was sealed off totally, this wouldn't work. There would be no suction, no airflow. But there's lots of little gaps around all the drawers and doors and a little bit out the back as well. Looks great. I wonder how well the standard back will cope with the dust before clogging. I don't think the vacuum's ever gonna clog, but yeah, the bags will need to be changed every so often. What's the program you use to draw the stand? I use AutoCAD 2017 as I come from a background of using CAD in my day job. Nice Steel Panther shirt, lol. Steel Panther. This isn't a how-to video, and the trash rock really doesn't fit with woodworking. Now, if you combine this video with the fact that I offer free plans, it certainly is a how-to video. And in terms of the rock I listen to, sorry it doesn't live up to your standards there, Flanders. Where do you put it when it's not in use? I keep the jointer under the assembly table whenever it's not in use. The guy used 17 different power tools to build another one. Might as well buy 18. But of course, a video of a guy buying another tool doesn't get that many clicks. You're right. Watching me buy stuff wouldn't be as exciting as watching me build something. Now, however, there's a guy named LGR who goes out thrifting, buying crap at thrift shops, and he gets thousands of views. It's actually pretty entertaining. I only own a screwdriver, so I'm fucked. Yeah, you can't do much with that. You might want to invest in like a hammer at least. Where did you get the switch? I got the switch on Amazon, it's about $7. It's a three pole toggle on off switch. So when you hit on, it stays on until you hit off. You need to add some bare copper wire around all that plastic duct to counter the static buildup causing sparks inside the system. I know what you have works for you, but the evidence is against you. Also, it would be better to have a delay in shutting down the system after using a tool to clear the duct work. In terms of adding grounding to the PVC pipe, my dust collector system, see my viewers comments three where I address this a little more. Now, in terms of adding a delay, I really don't need it as I pretty much leave it on about a minute or so after the fact anyways, because I kind of forget to turn it off. That's a lot of pocket holes. That's not a lot of pocket screws. That's a lot of pocket screws. With the amount of screws you used, this thing would be cyclone proof. We did have a tornado here about a year ago, so... I mean, the tornado didn't hit my house, but I guess it is cyclone proof. How much money did you spend on screws? I spent $13.37 on the screws. Were you using that red Solo cup in place of that toilet while you had the toilet removed? Yes, the Solo cup was good for two things. It acted as a plug, stopping sewer gases from coming into the room. It also allowed me to work on my aim, which my wife says needs a lot of work. Nice job. Are the fumes really bad when you charge the wood? Recommend doing it outside? Thanks, and keep up the great videos. Very inspiring. Yes, absolutely. When I'm doing the electricity burning, you need to be with the garage door open or outside or anything like that because you're burning the wood. If you were to close off your shop and everything, you'd basically smoke yourself out and you could die. Looks horrible if painted over, LOL. What were you thinking? Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Very nice. What are those plugs you used on the bottom of the shakers? The plugs on the bottom of the salt and pepper shaker were just simply plugs that you can get for salt and pepper shakers as well. They also make them for the bottom of like ceramic piggy banks and other stuff like that. So you spent all that time making a table saw lathe, but now you have an actual lathe. Were you doing it for those who don't have a lathe or did you just take the plunge and buy a real lathe? So basically I made the table saw lathe and bought my real lathe at the exact same time. I really like the benefits of the table saw lathe in it being repeatable, easy to use just for making basic shapes. Now on the lathe, that's everything else you want to do, bowl turning, what have you. Always wear those safety sandals, really important. Now, if you're gonna wear safety sandals, you must also accompany them with safety socks. God damn it, the socks did nothing. All right guys, that does it for this episode of Viewers Comments. If you wanna see your questions answered, be sure to leave a comment down below and maybe you'll make it to the next episode.